everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. And today I'm gonna to be talking about my most used luxury handbags in my collection. So I'm sure from year to year, this list changes just with my lifestyle, what I need to carry with me like from day to day what like what am i doing because i think that that's a big thing that sometimes we don't think about when we're purchasing handbags is how is this going to fit into my life is this going to be functional for me to use so it's kind of an interesting thing to reflect on when i'm looking at handbags and looking to buy more handbags so this is going to be my list of my top five most used luxury bags now let me start out with the one that is the most used in my collection. And if you follow me over on my Instagram, it comes as no surprise. I style this one probably the most you guys see me, especially in my stories, like with my everyday outfits, you'll see me style this bag constantly. It is my The Row medium size park tote. I absolutely love this bag. It was such a good purchase. When I was thinking about buying it, my friend was like, it's a basic bag. Like, why would you spend that much extra for it to be the row versus another one? And I agree to an extent. I totally understand. Like, if you're not a super handbag lover, collector, like enthusiast, I could see why another style bag, and there's plenty like similar looks that you can get for less, which I will link down in the description box as well. I will link all the bags I talk about. If I can find similar or the same I will link down below and also any like alternatives that are more affordable I will put down there but there's just something about the row bags which the quality is gorgeous if you're like a true handbag lover you get it the leather is so soft and smushy I could care less if anyone else knows that this is a, the row bag honestly in my day-to-day -day life no one would know this you know only a handbag lover would truly know about this bag it's more for like my personal joy like this bag sparks joy for me the leather is so soft and buttery i love the smooshiness of it i just feel good carrying this bag and it's also amazingly functional for my lifestyle so it's really my everyday bag if i have my son with me so like during the daytime my toddler like i had to carry a lot of stuff for him too so this bag kind of carries my stuff and his stuff together and it's perfect so this is definitely my most used bag. I have a whole review on this. I will put down in the description box as well. Just hit the more and it'll expand. Everything will be down there. Any of the reviews I have on my bags, which I think I have probably have it on all of my bags at this point, I will put down in the description box for you guys to watch if you want more information. But yeah, just quickly, this is my number one, no questions asked, my absolute favorite bag. I would totally get this in more colors too. Any of the ones that I can find available because it is a tricky one to find, I will put down below as well but I just think it is so worth the investment and for a luxury bag the price point is really not extortionate I think it's a really good buy so the second one maybe it's not my second most used bag but it's just like what comes to mind so like that was my like most used like daytime bag this is my most used evening bag and it's my vintage Chanel classic flat in the mini size I love this bag I talk about this bag all the time I just love it. I think the size is perfect. It still fits all of my essentials that I would need. If it's my phone, like I don't feel like I'm super condensing my stuff. I mean, I am a little bit for this bag, but nothing crazy. I just love it. It goes with everything. It's super chic, elegant, and it's just like an easy bag. Like I don't have to think about it. If I'm in a rush and need to get out of the house or like, I'm just not sure what bag to grab. This is just like the one to go to for like evenings and I can wear it during the day too. But I would say personally in my life, mostly I use this for evenings or if it's like a nice lunch with a friend or something but yeah I love this bag I have nothing but amazing things to say about it and I think as far as the vintage classics go mini is definitely my favorite size so the next bag on my list is my Nueve mini puzzle bag now I wish I used this a little bit more than I did I still use it a ton but I think what restricts me right now in my life like I just said when I have my son with me, I just need a bigger bag unless I have someone else with me and we have the diaper bag and like the stroller and all that, you know. Um, but if I'm like by myself, this is a perfect size for me. The small on my frame, because I am pretty petite, I'm 5'3", is like a little bit big to wear crossbody. It still looks great handheld. But I think crossbody, and I have a review on this as well, um, it just is like a little bit too bulky with the like square design. I think that the mini is like the perfect size for me. It's a little day to night bag like you can use it for both 
I love a top handle for me. Top handles are the most functional bags. If it has a top handle and a strap. So it's easy to like pull in and out of the car for me if there's a top handle and then the strap, obviously I need to be hands-free sometimes to have a bag that's only a top handle and doesn't have a top strap. It's just so limiting. Those are not bags I'm gonna be grabbing constantly, but something that has both and it's versatile is a win for me. It carries a good amount of stuff for its size. It's lightweight. I love it. Again, I have a review on this. I will put down below, but it's a great bag. I also think color wise, maybe it's a little bit limiting. It's definitely like more of a cool tone. I can pair it with warm tone things, but the tone is pretty, but I do have to think a little bit about what I'm pairing it with. But otherwise, I think it's just a great bag. Lueve is amazing quality, highly recommend. And I love this bag. I think it's a classic as well. Okay, my next most used bag is my vintage Fendi baguette. I love this bag. I wear it all the time. If I'm just like out by myself running errands, or I mean, again, day to night, I think it goes to both, but I just love the like, cool factor it adds to an outfit and it's just easy to carry it's soft it's lightweight you can kind of stuff it a bit because it is like a fabric bag so that's always nice you can get a ton in there oh I have my airpods in there right now I was just carrying this yesterday actually but I love it I have no complaints about it I just think it's a cool bag if you're looking to start a vintage collection this is a great one to go with and it's just easy like throw on the shoulder it's comfortable you don't have to worry about it I don't necessarily need a crossbody strap. That's not like a necessary thing for me. So really in my mind, this is like both a top handle and a shoulder bag and it's perfect. And I think the size is nice too. You know, you obviously can't carry a ton of stuff, but I think that that's what also makes it like a good day to night bag. So again, I use it for both day and night occasions. So who thinks they know what the last bag I'm gonna talk about is. If you do, pause the video, put your comment down below. I style this bag all the time. It is my The Row Half Moon bag. Now, I contemplated this bag for a very long time before I pulled the trigger. I just wanted to make sure that it was not too trendy, you know, that it would last a while. And um, I thought about it for a while. And I've had this bag for like almost a year now, I think. I love it. I reach for it all the time. I was concerned about this smooth leather, but it still looks perfect condition really there's like one tiny 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 little scratch on the bottom but I haven't had any issues with it again the row quality is just like perfection their quality is so nice for the price again I think it's a semi-reasonable reasonable priced bag for a luxury bag it just goes with everything I love that it's minimal hardware so yeah it's silver up top here you really don't see it so honestly it goes with everything and it's nice when I have a an outfit that I feel like is maybe a bit loud or like there's just something else going on and I don't want the bag to detract from the outfit. I think it's just a great addition to any outfit. Like you just don't have to worry about like, is it too much? Is the hardware gonna be too much if I have like a, a bold necklace on or a bold shoe on or something? It just goes with everything. It's just easy. It adds a cool modern element to an outfit. And I have a very like modern style and I love to like have that vintage and modern kind of duality in my looks. And I feel like if I'm looking like I feel like maybe my outfit's a bit too classic or a bit too vintage. And I just want to make it feel a little bit more modern. And now I think that this is a great bag. It just has a cool structural look to it. It's easy to use, easy to get in and out of. It holds a good amount of stuff, you know, for a medium sized bag like this. And yeah, it's great. Again, day to night, it has a lot of versatility to it. So you can kind of see the bags that I'm picking. Most of them have a lot of versatility. And I can use them a lot and that's why I end up using them a lot. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, comment below. Which of these bags is your favorite? What is your most used bag? I would love to know. It doesn't have to be luxury. Just what kind of style bag do you feel like you use the most in your normal life? Because I think that it depends so much again on like what we do, what we need in our day to day that kind of affects our handbag purchases and what we actually reach for. So if you want to see more, again, follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok. I have a ton more handbag content there. You see me style all my bags daily and extra in my Instagram stories. If I find amazing bag finds, I'm always putting them there in the stories too for you guys to shop. So hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care. Bye.